Hi there, I'm Black Bright, I'm broadcasting from the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through. I'm a vlogger, been doing it for like a couple of years now, and I born in the UK of Jamaican parents, so I tend to cover what's happening in England, what's happening in Jamaica. Spent some time in America, so I cover what's happening in America, and because I spent a year in Africa, I cover what's happening in Africa. So all of these places, they, I, they kind of resonate with me. So when things are happening in particular, things that are unjust, or where I think people need to be informed, I put my two pennies worth in. It's just my opinion most of the time, and um, I kind of get the information from news releases. Sometimes I get it from emails. Sometimes I get it from videos. I know I have to be careful sometimes because you can be sent things and you don't know how authentic they are. Anyway, what I'm going to show you now is straight from the horse's mouth. Teach them. T-E-A-C-H, them. You have to subscribe if you have not already subscribed, if you're interested in what's happening in Jamaica. Anyway, he or one of his compadres have taken um, a video of the deportees arriving in Jamaica. And I'm going to show it to you. But guess how many? They counted 17. What did I tell you? They said 29 to make it look good, probably. Because not unless they've let them off somewhere else. But the heading of the video is 17 out of 50. So I assume there's one plane, one destination, and they counted 17. So I told you it's probably because they didn't want egg on their faces. Make it look good. Over 50%. 29 is over 50%. That looks good enough. You know... By, all, by the time all the former wears off, nobody's going to really um, be interested in the fact that it's 17 because at least they've deported some. So it'd be very interesting to know what they're doing with the ones that stayed back, how long they're going to stay back for, whether we're going to be informed of when they're going to be deported or whether they've actually been released because they don't warrant deportation. It'd be very interesting. So people out there who's in the know, please let me know. Blackbright News at protonmail.com. I'd be happy to have your information as long as it's authentic, as long as I can verify it as authentic. That's all I need. OK, so I'm going to show you the video. And that looks like to be a UK immigration bus. I didn't even know they had a bus. Right, but that sign says something like "close, closed." You can't use the ATM machine. Let's see if we can count. Them. Okay, so there's a bus so behind the bus. It's a, I think it carries their luggage. I don't know why they need such a big bus. See, that's Teach Them. That's the, that's the website if you want to know anything about Jamaica. I don't know why they need such a big bus for just those two people. And everybody just all weird to know with their cameras. Why well, you can't even get away with that, you can't even sneak up. Oh! So this guy who's taking his video is obviously in some kind of enclosure, and he's got a very good view. So we've got, what, three there? One, two, three. First arrivals. We've got another two that's five. We've got the same two. Okay, that's three. That one's got somebody to meet them, so that's good or nice welcome greeting. That's what you need. I'm going to put the video um, below so you can get a clear look. So that's, that's the one we just got met. That's another guy who's... He's putting his jacket over his head. I don't know if it's too hot or what because he's not hiding his face so that makes four so far you can count with me okay I 
can't even see. I can't even go bother to count because I don't even know who's who, to be honest. Yeah, he says 17, so I rely on his source. He's a very reliable reporter of sorts. And they all seem to have taxes to pick them up, so. There was one guy, he was in such a rush to get away, he left one of his bags on the sidewalk and within minutes that bag was gone. He's going to be devastated. To the back end. know what that place is that they go in and then they report and then the car comes and takes them off somewhere. We are right man now. We fit the world. We put in sneakers in now. Taxi man, we money. Good afternoon, sir. So the reality is, uh, and you see those big check bags, I think that must be what the deportation office gives them because they're only a pound. I'm going to go quick in my mind and see if they're passing down in the other taxi. In no waste no time. Must be hard for them though, man. Some people that don't have no sympathy, so... I'm a bit empathetic, so I'm one of those empaths that kind of take on everybody's problem. <laughs> I have to stop with that. Dutch bumper, need help. I wouldn't trust my stuff in that bag. Yeah, so if you can subscribe to that channel if you're interested in what's happening to Jamaica, and they'll probably be updating you as well. So, yeah, I just saw that on YouTube and I thought, yeah, I'd better just show my people them. So the people arrived, and doesn't look like it was 29, looks like it's 17. And yeah, I think, I don't think there's anything really for me to kind of elaborate on it. 
you know, they've arrived safe, we can see how they're accepted, we can see, you know, it's not as, doesn't look that bad on the surface. And I'm sure, like I said, there's going to be people going out there interviewing them. So if you are interested, I suggest you just keep um, typing in deportees to Jamaica in the search engine on YouTube and see what you come up with. That's all for now. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.